Sexuality is a great way to help heal and move forward in your life. Hi, my name is Justin Gottlieb. I'm a Tantra teacher and sexual freedom coach out of Miami, Florida. And today I'm gonna to share with you five ways Tantra can improve your sex life. Tantra is an ancient teaching and the word Tantra actually means expansion and weaving or liberation. I like to give a more modern definition that we can use in our lives today. To me, Tantra is self-acceptance, self-love, connection, and presence. It's really about owning and accepting this human experience, this amazing life that we're going through, accepting our body, accepting our emotions, accepting our sexuality. And when we do so in full acceptance and full love, we're gonna be able to move through this life not only empowered, but with a lot more ease. And today I'm gonna to talk about the different ways that Tantra will improve your sex life. Number one is communication. Tantra teaches us a lot about how to feel into who it is we are, what we want, what our heart is telling us, and then being able to communicate that. It's a lot about empowerment. And when you can communicate with a partner, you can really go to higher depths of pleasure and really more depths in your relationship with that person. The number two way that Tantra can improve your sex life is through presence. A lot of times we're in our heads and it causes a lot of issues around sexual dysfunction. And if we are actually really present in this moment, we're gonna be more connected to ourselves and to our partner. And that's gonna create a much better flow in the bedroom rather than when we're thinking about the laundry list of things we need to do or trying to have notches on our belt of to be a better lover. Um, just being in the moment will help you flow really beautifully in a sexual experience. Number three, this is really important. Tantra is a lot about heart connection. It's not just about pleasure and our society focuses so much on pleasure. This is an opportunity to really come into your heart and feel connected and really create a in-depth relationship with the person that you're interacting with. So focusing more on the heart, more on love, more on giving, rather than taking and being more just about pleasure or short-term satisfaction. And number four, piggybacking off number three, is about giving and receiving. Too many times in our intimate experiences, we really weren't taught what it's like to give versus receive. And in fact, a lot of the times we are taking in our energy. And in Tantra, we can explore giving and receiving as two separate experiences. So I recommend with a partner to have a time frame where one partner just receives, and one partner's giving, and then you switch roles. So to actually feel what it's like to be fully receiving, rather than be in this constant interaction of giving and receiving at the same time during a uh, sexual experience. This will greatly improve your communication as well and let you know what your partner really likes. And number five is healing. A lot of Tantra is about healing from the past. And this can mean moving emotions and energy through the body and also healing from past trauma. Sexuality is a great way to help heal and move forward in your life. And you can do so with yourself through self-pleasure or also with a partner through any type of sexual experiences. So really being keen and present to the idea that sexuality can be a really healing vehicle. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you find these tips extremely useful. Feel free to leave a note in the comments and let me know how you are using these tips in your life.